hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush. Hello everyone and welcome back to Queen Daenerys Stormborn of Marines campaign and her quest for the emancipation of Essos and the end of slavery. Currently we are at war with the uh, Mirish. We had a battle which sadly we lost as they do have quite a lot more troops than we do or at least that I've summoned. I could potentially summon more which I guess we should do and ship them across do we have any boats they're all over here are they where are my ships here okay good they're on their way back perfect uh, we need to get reinforcements to Daenerys because at the moment we are outgunned the Zorse is causing much trouble, according to my Master at Arms, Glendon. The Stable Masters apparently cannot control it. So we can gain Cruel. The Dorse is rest Oh no, we don't want to destroy it. We've got to deal with it. Zorse is awesome. Daenerys has a lot of things in her control. And someone mentioned, actually, in the comments about giving an egg to my children. So I might try that now. Let's give it a go. I've given Ares an egg. So as is now Targaryen tradition, you have young Ares sleep in his bed with his new dragon egg. If a dragon is hatched, it will be a sign that the child is indeed a true Targaryen. But what if the dragon is weak? So I could also give one to my daughter. Let's do it. Why not? There you go. So that is both Drogon's eggs. Meanwhile, Drogon himself, I think, is still injured. Yeah, he's maimed, which causes me quite some worry in that I hope he doesn't die, but we'll see what happens. Whoa, what? Oh, Christ, they're besieging Marine. Right. Okay, well, it looks like we're going to have to send Daenerys back here. Unfortunately, come south. Because we can't lose the capital. This is going to cause us some problems. Give my child a dragon. Oh, so I can give one of my other two dragons to them as well. I think I'd rather give them their own dragons. Because if I lose... If I lose a dragon... Then that causes me some real problems. Although... You are not in my court. Which is a bit strange. Does that mean we can't have all three dragons myself? It might do. Right, let's go back. Because we need to relieve the siege of Marine. Cannot afford to let these heathens conquer us and re-establish slavery. Uh, Prince Ares can gain Liberator. Ooh! which gives plus 20. Well, we want him to be because he is uh, awesome. Also in the comments, do uh, give me some suggestions who you think he should marry. Maybe a Stark, maybe a Tyrell. There's also a Dothraki available. Uh, lots of choice, so uh, your suggestions and comments are always very welcome. And any likes, uh, if you're enjoying the series, are greatly appreciated. Drogon has long been unable to fly. Ah yes, he's finally lost Maimed. Excellent. Well, we've been wanting that for a long time. So we can use him in this battle and put him back into the fold. Let's deploy the dragon. Dracarys. Look at that. Immediate morale destroyed. 
And we captured a courtier. Did they manage to besiege anything? No. Right. Meanwhile. We're going to follow you out. We're going to disband the ships for now. Oh, okay, you've gone over here. Seven thousand troops is still quite a lot. You'll pay ten gold. I mean, we are sinking in debt now. Do I need my own levies? Oh, yeah, I do because we can't. We can't afford not to. But then we can't afford to have them. <laughs> I mean, we'll we'll give it a go. Vassals of Marine now respect me. It's taken a long time for that to happen, but that's good. My bastard daughter, Aria, tried to hatch an egg, but failed. She also lost her egg in the process. Ooh, that's a bad omen. That's a shame that egg is now done and dusted. Okay, don't. My son, Ares, lacks all passion. Okay, well, don't get content. Okay, what we're going to do is split the army in half. Because I need someone besieging and someone defending. And we will swap Daenerys between the two. In fact, you go there, you defend. And then we can start looking at besieging various places. Uh, right, Freeholder Gorzak. As he accepted it, he has grudgingly made clear without saying he has no intention of ceasing hostile scheming. I can't afford 50 gold. Go away. Are you a 10,000? Oh no, you're not too big. Okay. Meanwhile, Daenerys could deal with this army quickly whilst the troops come across. And we're actually going to make it before they can traverse the mountain, so that's good. And we really need some income. If I don't have to use Drogon, then I'm not going to. Uh, Yunkai gets diligent. I think we want morale at this stage. Because we're not going to be summoning more troops. Ow, that was a... That was a painful uh, attack there. Head over to Marine. You guys are here, which is great. And then we will pop Daenerys in here with Lyle and she can deploy Drogon, which is perfect. Oh, for God's sake, he got wounded. Fine, not much I can do about that. Uh, where are the enemies? They're still fleeing, so that's okay. We're at minus 300 now. This is really just not good. Let's disband these guys for now. Master at Arms, you can continue. Do we have a better... Anyone better to join as an income collector for us? Yeah, Lothar. I really need some money. Regent 
Ugh, everyone hates us. Bodyguards will be needed though. Crate call. Uh, Vaymond, you're pretty good as well. Paramount Knight, Lyle, you can be that. You've basically become my new Barristan. After Barristan left me. To go to the next world. That was a sad loss. So we've lost Jorah, Barristan. We've basically lost all of the initial characters we start with. My son's gained trained fighter, which is great. And he won't join me. Damn it. Well, it said he would. I mean, 15 still better than 12. Right, you are now going to cause me problems. Go away. Good, we captured someone. Let's try and get some money straight away. And then just disband. How are you doing over here? Not bad. The siege continues. Marries you please, I'm not fussed. Who you marry? I think this is the last war that we have to do. I hope we don't have to do Pentos and Bravos, or maybe we do. If we do that, it seems like a bit much, because she's already, what, 46? And I know I haven't probably played it as optimally as you can, but that still seems like a lot. Every night ever since he was given it, my son Ares has been sleeping with his dragon egg, but it's remained cold. Oh dear. Maybe neither of the eggs will hatch. Right. Troops here. You're needed. Oh, no, you're not. No, you're not. Belay that. You might not be needed. Or I can still deploy the dragon. Eris can gain fashionable. He always seems to be interested in the garments of some of the courtiers. You're not in the usual lustful way. Uh, I don't mind him being fashionable. It gives him plus one diplomacy. I don't have 50 gold to give you. Quite frankly. I don't care if you don't like me. None of you like me anyway. She really has a tough time in this campaign. Because no vassal likes her. I know she has a dragon. But the set pieces that she has to do, there's so many. Right, victory there. That's 61%. I'm going to have to deploy Drogon here. In order to siege Myr itself. Meanwhile, in Marine, things seem to be going okay. Uh, Astapur and Yunkai are having a trade war. I'm perfectly happy for them to deplete one another. Works out quite nicely for me. There's no... Oh, hello. End that plot, thank you. I don't mind who you marry. Uh, I'm tempted to deploy the dragon again, but we might wait a little bit. Are we still losing money? We are still losing money. Okay, I can't really afford to wait. So, Tracarus. And that's got us to 70%. 71%. Come on, Daenerys, we need... Oh wow, we got a lot of gold for that siege, actually. Can we go again? Thank God for dragons. Dangerous factions are. Oh, please don't give me a rebellion right now. 
I'm in the middle of a war. Still, she has done pretty tremendously. In fairness to her, she has conquered and beaten so many of these city-states. It's just such a shame that uh, she has to travel so far and do so much before you can even really get started. Good. Another siege. I can't pay any money to anyone. I'm at 75%. I can host a wedding feast, but I don't have enough. Lothar did actually join me. So that means you can collect taxes instead of Belwas. Money is on the up, which is good, although at a very slow rate. I'm afraid I'm not interested in uh, paying... Karzak was quick to realise the implications of your visit, welcoming you humbly. Good. Stop your faction plotting. Okay, lots of smuggler rings are appearing. But nearly besieged the Green Gate, and then that is all of Mur. Oh crap, he's got a 10,000 stack coming my way. Why did you let off that peasant accused from poaching? So he can get kind, which gives minus two intrigue, but two diplomacy. Or just, which is two stewardship and one learning. And one vassal opinion. I mean, just, I think, is the superior of the two. Oh yeah, you got it. Awesome. And our siege was successful. He has bought a stack of mercenaries. Which I am going to deploy my dragon immediately. So Franklin Flowers tried to slay your dragon and failed. He was beaten back by the flames. Is this the Golden Company? Did you guys hire the Golden Company to try and kill me? Wow. Nice try guys. Nice try. 88% right. Let's end this war. This war has gone on for far too long. But there's 2,000 troops up there. I want to take them out because they are... Ah, we're going to miss them. But we can follow up at Lothar Bay. Will we catch you? 4th of the 10th, 5th of the 10th. Still won't catch you. But I should be able to catch you after this. And we have become close friends. I'm going to go here. And I will deploy the dragon on you again. If you continue. Which you are doing and you're smashing me. Oh god, that wasn't a good move. Please don't get hurt. Okay, we slayed someone. Slayed another one. So their prestige is battered, but so are my forces. Yowza. Oh, that has done it. That is the 100% we needed. Thank God for that. We only gain prestige. We don't gain gold for this. Oh, the war with Mur is finally over. Right. Oh, thank God. Thank God we can finally end the campaign for Marine and finally go for our birthright of the Iron Throne. So, the final crossroad. Slavers haunt Slavers Bay no more. My unsullied Kalasar and dragons made sure of that. The freed men adore me, the old blood fear me, and all of Essos listens when I speak. I'm proving a fair and just ruler. My counsellors are wise, and the cities are prosperous and at peace. But this land is not home. Viserys always told me that Westeros has the dragons, or was the dragons' only home. 
and that one day we would return with an army. My brother is long dead and the army is my own. The Seven Kingdoms are contested and their armies are at war, their people afraid. We could return to Westeros and bring peace, or I could remain here and forge a new empire free of shackles. We are going to go straight back to Westeros. We're done with uh, Essos. See you later. And we have declared war on Shireen, who has 6,000 troops, so we are tankier than her. Ooh, and uh, the Lord of the Vale has uh, answered the call for me. Right, get on the boats. We will go straight to King's Landing. In fact, we should probably get our troops before we do that. Uh, but I am going to end the episode here, and next episode we will land in Westeros, land at King's Landing, who is currently defending against the Rock and Dawn, as well as us. And we will begin our campaign for Daenerys to conquer the Iron Throne, which is what we've been seeking to do this whole playthrough. Uh, if you're enjoying the series, please do leave it a like. Any support is greatly appreciated. And I will see you all in the next episode.